Meanwhile, more street protests gripped Sri Lanka after the country declared a 36-hour nationwide curfew Saturday and deployed troops backed with sweeping new powers under a state of emergency to quell protests against the president. Christelle de Marucot reports. People waiting in queues, that starts before dawn. That's what citizens now expect when buying essentials like gas and cooking fuel. In this line for kerosene, many have stood for five hours in empty stomachs under the heat of the sun. Everyone is angry. <laughs> Sri Lanka is facing its worst economic crisis in living memory. Many economists also say it has been exacerbated by government mismanagement and years of accumulated borrowing. Farmers face a devastating drought in 2016. The implementation of a government policy banning imported fertilizer compounded the issue. It was an attempt to make Sri Lanka the first organic farming nation, but instead farmers left their fields and food skyrocketed. Sri Lanka's predicament has been compounded by the COVID-19 pandemic, which torpedoed tourism and remittances. Yes, I am expecting it to get a lot worse, and unfortunately they are unable to contain it because the people who created the crisis are very much still in charge of the economic management. Uh, so I think it's behaviorally impossible for them to acknowledge that they have made a huge blunder and they have to reverse all these uh, incorrect economic policies. The state electricity monopoly said it enforced a 13-hour power cut from Thursday, the longest ever, because it did not have diesel for generators. Several state-run hospitals have stopped conducting surgeries as they have run out of essential life-saving medicine. I would definitely say this is the worst crisis uh, since independence, uh, just because while there have been some, there have been crises, um, not to this magnitude and not to this level of um, disruption of the economy, the productive capacity of businesses. Uh, to operate during uh, power cuts and whatnot, it, it, it has impacts across the entire value chain. Sri Lanka's capital was under heavy security on Friday after hundreds of protesters tried to storm the president's home in a night of violence and anger at a dire economic crisis. One person was critically injured and police said five officers were hurt in running bottles. 45 people were arrested and in the latest official data released Friday, it showed that inflation in Colombo hit 18.7% in March, the sixth consecutive monthly record. Food prices also soared a record 30.1%. Like the queues for basic goods, the problems here seem endless. Reporting from Sri Lanka, Crystal Nicole Dimarukot, back to you, Alma.